today we are going to talk on pneumophonia i am dr kumarisen professor of ent shiva ent hospital chennai pneumophonia is a voice problem which commonly seen in boys who are talking in female tone you may think it is a rare opportunity because it is already estimated 9 lakhs one person is having pneumophonia so we feel it is not common but we have started the research for the last 3 years we are getting many cases so far we have treated 72 cases of pneumophonia so in the adolescent puberty time boys voice changes up to 10th 12th year all are having female tone voice only after that at the time of puberty the voice changes in male this may be due to two character one is larynx descent and vocal cord length by this process the hertz the frequency the intensity the tone of male voice changes but few gens even after puberty they continue to have this female voice and many of them don't know where to go they go to ent doctor they will assess the hormone and other parameters vocal cords whether there is a split in the vocal cord all the things they will assess and then they will or may send them to the speech therapist and few surgeries also available for lengthening the vocal cord because of the factor that male when they get adulthood they develop adams apple a little projection of the thyroid cartilage where the vocal cord the voice box is attached so any manipulation in the vocal cord whether it will correct even the surgeons they will try but as a matter of fact many surgeries are also available in the name of uh, thyroplasty we cannot predict the success of the surgery definitely some patient there are success and after surgery also they have to continue the voice therapy similarly if the patient referred to or referred for speech therapy also they may give a long term therapy olden days also for speech therapy they are attempting putting some stones or pellet into the mouth and talk talk loudly or you adapt some other tone which you like like mimicry or cry and talk or breathe while diaphragmatic breathing you exercise the tongue you exercise the laryngeal muscle there are a lot of exercises available they teach and few people definitely will be all right by speech therapy but it is a long process they may have to continue a long time there are success but we found out a technique thereby we are able to make the pharyngeal content more the basic principle is male voice is pharyngeal speech female voice is laryngeal speech so this is the basic principle so if somebody talks in laryngeal then they will have a female voice pharyngeal that is a oral cavity 
So you have to move the lip, tongue, soft palate, and use the teeth and nose and oropharyngeal aperture. Then you talk, it will become a male voice. So we thought of enlarging the pharyngeal aperture not directly operating upon the larynx. So initially, with the stroboscope, we used to assess the voice, where it is coming from, where it is resonating. It is the accent voice, resonating voice, or least silverman method of training the voice, or circumlaryngeal message voice or speech on inspiration, speech on expression, or reversal speech, or whole body should vibrate and talk. So all the methods we try and we'll find out which is a suitable method. Everybody says the voice should originate from lower abdomen, thereby abdominal movement should move the diaphragm, from the diaphragm, the voice comes by, because of the Bernoulli's phenomenon, vocal cord meets together and vibrate and make noise, that's all. But the words are coming from the structures in the mouth. So basically we record with the stroboscope. Nowadays, apps are available to assess the individual's voice, pitch measurement by voice. So from cell phone itself, we'll, as soon as the patient comes to us, we'll assess the voice, whether it is a male voice or female voice. There is no question of doing hormone tests, because we have done a lot of hormone study for this uh, female tone male. 72 cases we have done, no one is having a hormonal mismatch. That means all are male only. There is no history of hormonal change. And they are secondary sexual character same as male. So we thought of increasing the pharyngeal by, by a small a technique by which we can do it a small knot a silk knot made on the throat over the structure which is available, which is a vibrating part. So this small procedure will take only two minutes. It is done under local anesthesia. No admission required, no operation required. Just putting a knot, just like taking a tooth, that's all. So it is an outpatient procedure if you do that. Immediately the voice change to normal. Then we have to give a training. But as a matter of fact, a feedback should be given to the patient. That feedback we are giving by virtual reality treatment. Thereby we are able to get good success rate Practically speaking, 72 cases we are having record, all are having hormone assay. And we have followed for the last three years, but few cases recently only we have recorded. Out of these cases, 50% has immediate cure. And three cases there is failure also. That cases we are trying speech therapy. So this is a national program, we want to take it. This is a social program because boys talking in female language, they will get depressed. They won't go to school. They think they are inferior. In America, London also I have referred, I have seen cases, bullying is more common. So they are ill-treated. So this had taken as a challenge to change the male voice to male who are having female voice to male voice and have a life a 
as a future male citizen then they will be happy so pneumonia can be curable it can be treated immediately immediately so yeah, all ent surgeons should be trained and uh, they should also follow it because another ent surgeon in our ent national journal he has referred as no references available except dr kumarishan of chennai had given this idea so that idea is given in the indian journal of auto rhino laryngology so that credit that idea he had given to us so we will had taken it as a challenge and treating pneumonia thank you